All right, folks, what we're doing today is we're running a pack T test with a variety of 45 ACP ammo in this HK45 Tactical. As you can see, I'm using my lab radar. We're set up with a target at 15 yards. I've got my remote camera operating down there. We're going to put five rounds on the bullseye target, and we're going to score that for precision and accuracy. And the lab radar is going to give me the consistency part of our test. Then we're going to shift this over to the clear ballistic, ballistic gelatin, and run the terminal ballistics, or the T part of it, and see how the bullets perform in that gelatin. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll arm this thing. This is the Remington Gold and Saber Black Belt ammo, factory ammo. Okay, we're out. We're going to go ahead and shift over to the ballistic gelatin. See how that works? We're going to fire that from a distance of seven yards. Hey, thanks for sticking around for the recap of this pack test for the Remington Golden Saber Black Belt Bullets. Now, I'm reminding you that this is factory ammo that we're testing, and I'll be testing a series of factory ammo as well as some reloads or handloads uh, in the future. And, of course, I have tested some uh, other bullets previously, and you can find the link to those pack T tests in the description below. So back to the Remington Golden Saber. At our bullseye target at 15 yards, the five-shot group had an extreme spread of 1.10 inch. The bullseye score was 44 out of 50. The lab radar recorded all five of our rounds, and we ended up with a standard deviation of our muzzle velocity of 21.5 feet per second and a mean or average muzzle velocity of 859 feet per second. Now, as a hand loader, that 21.5 is a bit high, but actually not too uncommon for factory ammo. We have four different ways of measuring terminal performance. And the first is the penetration of that bullet into that gel block. Now, I'll remind you that this is uh, a gel block of clear ballistic gelatin, NATO block, which means it's 20% ballistic gelatin. If you look at other tests, FBI tests, uh, they use a 10% ballistic gelatin block. So what that means is that this block is more dense, and we would expect slightly less penetration in this block compared to a 10% block. Nonetheless, our penetration was really good, 13.5 inches. The expansion of the retrieved bullet was 154% of its original size, and this Remington Golden Saber retained 99 plus percent of its weight. Now, a lot of shooters are familiar with, or at least aware of, the FBI tests with ballistic gelatin. They have a series of tests that they use to um, evaluate the performance of different bullets, particularly 
uh, defensive bullets, handgun bullets. One of those tests is simply firing that bullet at close range, like we were doing, about seven yards, into bare ballistic gelatin. Exactly what we did. Remember, though, they're using a slightly different density of the uh, ballistic gelatin than we did. So when I looked over their test, their evaluation, and even found some information on scoring procedures, I have used that roughly as a guide for coming up with scoring on our tests, the tests we're doing. And so I have a modified or adjusted FBI protocol that I'm using. It's not really the FBI protocol for a number of reasons, uh, but nonetheless, I'll, I'll say that it's the modified test. Anyway, our score for the Remington Golden Sabre was 415 points. And to put that into perspective, the maximum score that can be possibly achieved of the perfect bullet, which I'm not sure we'll ever see, is a full 500 points. Now, I've got some pack t tests coming up with some other 45 ACP bullets, particularly the Federal Hydroshock and the Spear Gold Dot. These are all in 230 grain jacketed hollow point bullets, and we'll be releasing those videos in the next couple of weeks. Well, if you'd like to see us test a specific bullet, certainly put that into the comments of this video and let us know what you'd like to see us shooting through the PAC-T test. Thanks a bunch for watching.